Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just want to show you a super quick video uh, on how to get just two or three pounds of boost out of your car without using a boost controller and without changing the springs. Now I know this is probably really obvious to some of you. Uh, some of you haven't seen this kind of wastegate before, but we're going to turn a non-adjustable wastegate into an adjustable one. So follow along as we do that right now. Alright, we're going to take this wastegate apart real quick. Now, I know that this particular setup right now makes about 10 pounds of boost. I also know that the engine that's in my truck, based on what I saw on the dyno, is only good for about 13 pounds. Uh, once it gets around that 600 horsepower mark, the Gen 3 motors seem to uh, have problems. So that's what I'm shooting for. I know it made 540 horsepower on about 12 pounds. Okay, so with one spring, my piece of tape shows me it made, or it makes about five or six pounds. Okay, with the little spring installed as well, it makes about 10 pounds. I'm shooting for 13 or 14. Okay, we've got the wastegate all apart. Uh, this particular wastegate has the plug in the top of it. You can do the same thing I'm about to show you if it has the banjo fitting in it, like what's on the side right here. Okay. Like I said, it's got the plug in the top, so we're just going to go in there and we're going to drill and tap a hole right through there. Uh, that particular hole is going to be a 3 16 hole through there, and we're going to thread it to a quarter 20. All right, now we're gonna take the spring, and we're gonna trace the inside of it out on this little piece of metal we got here. That's all we want is just to be able to see that circle. It doesn't have to be centered. It don't have to be anything special. That's just gonna go on the inside of the spring and we'll show you here in a second. All right, so I marked the piece that I cut, that you saw me cutting, put a center punch in it, and we're gonna drill a small centering hole in there for the uh, adjuster screw. This is the same drill that we used to thread the hole in the top part of the wastegate. Looks like we got a little crazy with it and drilled all the way through anyways, but that won't hurt anything. All right, now we're going to weld that little piece that we cut out on the bandsaw. We're going to weld it to the inside of the spring. That doesn't have to be anything solid. It doesn't get a lot of abuse or anything, so just a couple of little stitch welds will be just fine. Okay, now we've got the threaded top half and a simple thumb screw that I got from Home Depot. Notice I ground the end of it off a little bit as a radius um, so where it meets the other part. Simply put it in place like this until it sticks through the other side. Now you're going to use the nut to lock it in place when you get it adjusted where you want it to be. Okay, now we're going to put the wastegate back together with the plate that we welded in sticking up. The reason why we want that plate inside the spring and not over the top of it is because the thickness of that, of that little plate will actually increase the boost some small amount 
uh, which is going to vary from car to car and setup to setup. So when you put the plate in, put it inside the spring. Now you're going to put the wastegate top back on with the thumb screw sitting flush in here. And you're going to make sure and clock the wastegate back the way you had it. Okay, we got the top back on the wastegate now. We're gonna take the screw, the thumb screw, okay, screw it back in plate or screw it in the hole that we threaded earlier. Now it's gonna stop as soon as it hits the plate that we've got welded in there across that spring, and it's gonna hit the little hole, which is what we intended for it to do. We want so that the, the spring can't move around and it locates straight and everything. Now from there, you just adjust it to get the amount of boost that you want. Now, when you, once you get it where you want it, you want to lock that nut down, and that keeps the screw from moving around. Now, uh, this also, or I just want to say that this is only to make that two or three pound jump and boost. It's not to make big boost, although you can, just depends on how far you screw the, the screw in. The reason why I did this is because I'm unsure of where the springs are going to land as far as the, the least amount of boost that they make and if you put them in certain configurations the boost is going to go way high or way low we don't want that we want little jumps because in my particular inst instance uh, I'm stuck to a certain power level I'm going to run out of fuel the engine won't stay together and all those kinds of things so I want little bitty jumps one two three pounds and that's it I don't want any more and sometimes with the springs if you make a mistake you're going to go five or ten pounds too high and by the time you figure it out it's too late so that's what we're trying to avoid um, I try to do this in a manner where there's uh, anybody can do this with hand tools in the garage um, and that, that's it it's gonna work there's no doubt about it it's just a matter of adjusting it the way you like some wastegates actually come like this now if your wastegate doesn't have this extra port in it and you do put this screw in here, all you have to do is drill and tap another hole somewhere in the top if you're gonna run a boost controller at a later date. Um, and you still can run a boost controller. You don't have to change any of this. Your boost controller is just gonna pick up where this screw leaves off. Okay, everybody, thanks for stopping by. That's the end of the video. It's just a quick and simple wastegate hack. Um, nothing to it. Some wastegates come like this. It's not reinventing the wheel. I haven't come up with anything new. I'm just showing you a way to do it at home with general tools if your wastegate is not adjustable already. Okay, and again, one more time, this is not to make big swings and boosts. This is for a finer adjustment if you don't want to switch springs in and out and you only want that two or three pound jump and boost. Okay, thanks again everybody for stopping by. Like always, I sure appreciate it. Uh, simple wastegate hack. We're going to go test it out here at the track here in a couple hours actually. So I'll report back in the next video update for the S10, but I wanted to break this one out separate. Lots of new subscribers coming in. Tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below. We'll see you in the next video guys. Oh, just one more thing. Remember, there's a right way, there's a wrong way, and there's the way that works. This is just the way that works.